Suleima. Thank you so much, Suleima. Second person. Marvin. Thank you so much. And a, a third person. Francisco. Thank you so much. Let's see. We're, we're going to check on the first three. Miss Suleima was the first one. Can you please show your paper? Okay. I don't know if you, you can see it. We're going to try. No problem. No problem. Let's see. Miss Suleima. Put it more in the camera, please. All right. Who was the second person? Thank you so much, Miss Suleima. The second person was Marvin, right? Marvin, thank you. And Francisco, Juan Francisco, I guess you mentioned, right? Sara, can you start the box? Thank you so much. Thank you. That's correct. And at the end, you should have a sentence like this. According to the information we have, we should have Sara can store the tablets in shelves, right? In this case, we're talking about an affirmative sentence and talking about possibility. Sarah can store the tablets in shelves. Thank you so much. Let's continue. We're going what to do have- What do you mean in shelves? Shelves. Shelves, the place where you can store uh, different materials. And let me go on this one. You know, I'm not an artist. But I will try my best to, to this one, right? Let's see. Imagine Mr. Uh, Mr. Francisco, right? Shelves are sometimes structures where you can put little things, right? You, you can store. Sometimes they are metallic uh, or sometimes they can be plastic. And usually you can find them in offices or you can find them in warehouse. Son como estantes. Metallicos or plasticos, right? That is the idea for shelves, right? Okay, let's continue. Next one, we have other sentence. And be quick. Next one. Let's be quick. Who is going to finish? Uh -huh. Who is the first one? Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco, first one. Do I have a second person to finish? Second person? Edgar, teacher. Edgar, thank you so much. And do I have a third person to finish? Carla. Thank you so much, Miss Carla. Sure. Juan Francisco, thank you so much, Jose. Juan Francisco, can you show your sentence, please? Let's see. Can manager pile up containers in the warehouse? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Juan Francisco. The second person was Edgar, if I'm not mistaken, right? Edgar el segundo. Mr. Edgar, okay. show us the sentence, please. Can manager the warehouse pile up containers? All right, but show the sentence. Si tiene el papelito, do me the favor. Show it to the camera. Oh. Please, so we can see your version, if it is possible. All right. All right, thank you so much. And the third person, I guess it was, who was the third person, Jose? That was another, another classmate. Mm -hmm. But do you have but a version? I have, I have a question. Tell me. I have a question. Um, this is my example, but... Uh -huh. The, the managers fill up the container. The mm -hmm. in is not mm -hmm. in our sentences. I mean, you, you need to scrabble. I, I don't know if it's correct or, or no. Okay, let me double check. Let's see. Let me show you my version. Probably I skipped it. Probablemente puede haber sido un problema de edición y yo lo haya obviado. Oh. All right. Check on the sentence. Can the warehouse manager 
pile-up containers, talking about possibility, right? Is it possible, yeah. right? In this case, I was checking on, on two different nouns. Teníamos manager y el warehouse. El warehouse no era tanto el lugar, sino que era un nombre compuesto, hablando del el gerente o el administrador de la bodega. Por eso ahí tal vez no teníamos el in. ¿eh? Está un poco tricky, ya ves. Está un poquitito yeah. ahí con, con, con ganchito para que agarráramos la idea. But that's okay. The version that you should have is can the warehouse manager pile up containers? That should be the one. Thank you so much. And the last sentence for this part. Let's see. Check on the screen and try to complete it. Javier. Thank you so much. Do I have a second person? I have a Javier. What about the Hi. second person? Suleima. Suleima, thank you so much. All right. Carla. Carla, thank you so much. And the rest, you may finish. Si no se preocupe, si usted puede crear su versión, perfecto. Y contrastamos información. Suleim, oh no, Javier was the first one. Javier, can you show the, your, your sentence, please, if possible? Ah, for the background, read it. Por el, por el, por el fondo quizás es, no es tan posible verlo. Don't worry. Can you read the sentence, please? Fred cannot use the lift to move refrigerators. All right, thank you so much. Miss Suleima, can you show, can you read your version because of the background probably going to be hard to, to, to see it. Can you read your version? Fred can use the lift to move refrigerators. To move refrigerators. Thank you so much. And Miss Carla, you were the third one to, to mention your name. Thank you so much. It's a little bit hard to see. Can you read it, please? Well, can't use the left to move refrigerators. Thank you. And as you mentioned, that's correct. Fred can, talking about the negative, that is not possible. Fred can use the lift to move refrigerators. Thank you so much. Yeah. And as you can see, this is part of the practice from yesterday, talking about the use of can for possibility and can for information. All right. Uh, any question about this topic? Questions, questions? Alguna pregunta? Tal vez. Quedamos ahí un poquitito con dudas de ayer. So, well, let's move to the Teacher. next. Yeah, tell me. Go ahead. Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, en, solo para tenerlo claro. Yeah. El, yeah. Orden, el orden de cómo tendría que construir la, la oración mm -hmm. es, en este caso, el sujeto, mm -hmm. el, el auxiliar. Auxiliary. Uh -huh. y, uh, auxiliary. The verb. Uh, luego. Uh -huh. The verb. Uh -huh. The verb. Uh -huh. Use. Uh -huh. And finally. Mm -hmm. The complement. Mm -hmm. Finally, the complement. Yeah. That uh, should be. Uh, uh, that should, mm -hmm. the, the finally. In this the case. Finally, what, what, what is uh, in finally is at the end. In this case, uh, if we analyze this sentence, the subject is frail. The auxiliary is in the negative, can, the verb use, and all the rest, the mm -hmm. leaf to move refrigerators, okay. that is a complement. Todo lo que vemos después del verbo use, que es usar, usar el qué, el que tal vez levanta cargas para mover refrigeradores. Todo eso que usted ve después del verbo es el complemento. Recuerden que ten, podremos, podríamos tener complementos uh, simples como decir, I can't, uh, I can uh, play tomorrow. Right? Dándole otro ejemplo, no puedo jugar mañana. Podemos tener un complemento tan corto como una expresión de tiempo. Así como la que vemos acá, tenemos una frase que ya es más compuesta, pero todo eso al final es el complemento. ¿okay? Y dependiendo del contexto, la oración. Pero siempre mantenemos el, el patrón o el formato que estábamos viendo ayer, sujeto, auxiliar, verbo, y el restante es el complemento. 
a compliment. Fact. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Let's continue on this one. I have a question for you. And if you can turn up, turn on your microphone, I would really appreciate that. Check on the question. What methods, what processes or methods can companies use to send products or materials to others? I need some volunteers. What is your idea or what do you know about this? And I think that uh, many companies mm -hmm. uh, can use containers to send products to other places or other countries. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Suleyma. Manuel, I see that you want to, but I see like, teacher, please ask me. Mr. Manuel, uh, can you contribute to this one? Excuse me? Uh, can you uh, participate with the question, what methods company use to send product or materials to others? In my company, mm -hmm. uh, Send the products for for containers. Mm -hmm. Containers. Containers. Mm -hmm. uh, boats. Uh -huh. Boats. boats. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or or airplanes. For airplanes. All right. Thank you so much, Manuel. And that is a valid uh, valid answer for this one. What about you, Andres? What are your ideas? What methods can <clears throat> company use to send materials or products to others? Uh, Miss Andres, I guess there is a, a problem with your microphone because it's hard to listen to you. And now? No, now it's better. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I think the companies can use trucks mm -hmm. when the products are less. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And Teacher. yeah, tell me. Companies can send products on request. On request, uh huh. The most common. Can can the company send the products on request? It's possible, right? It depends on on the necessities of the buyers in this case, right? But they can send, right? It's possible, right? It is possible. All right, thank you so much. There are different ways for companies to send or to transport products or other materials. Let's see on this one. We're going to check on your books. If you have your books, we are going to be working on page 15 at this moment. All right, we have on page 15, there is a shipping label. In a label, sometimes is a of, of paper, a piece of plastic, or any other or something that we can attach or include for information for a package. As in this case, you see, when you send something to other country, they include a paper information for the sender, information for the person who is going to receive the package. And as you can see on the screen and on your books on page 15, there is a shipping label on this one, okay? What is the information that we have here? Check on the screen and I will ask you some questions. Let's see, I'm going to choose one person from the class. Let me see. Miss Noemi. Hello, Miss Noemi. Hello, teacher. How are, how are you, Noemi? Fine, thanks. All right, thank you so much. Uh, check on the screen. There is a shipping label, you know, that is extra information for a product. And I want to ask you, tell me, what is the tracking number? Check on the screen mm -hmm. and, and you can check on your books. What is that? 
Read. Yeah, to read. What is the tracking number? Okay. Right? That yes. is, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Number is mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Noemi. That's correct. Thank you so much. Uh, I will choose other person. Let's see, Miss Irene. Hello, Miss Irene. How are you today? Miss Irene, hello. Right, probably it's not possible for her to answer. Miss Elsie, I will I will switch to Miss Elsie. Hello, Miss Elsie. Hello, teacher. Hello. All right. Good evening. Ah, hello. Let's see. Uh, Miss Irene. Hello. No, probably late. I will switch. Voy a comenzar con Elsie y luego Irene, si puede, participa. Vamos a comenzar con Elsie. Elsie, check on this information, please. And tell me, what is the waste for the shipment? Seven eight four 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 the, the weight, el peso. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. The weight for the shipment, el peso de, de, del envío, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. What is the weight? No lo veo donde está, weight. Yeah. Can I help? I, 120 um, pounds. Pounds, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I guess it was Javier who was trying to help. Thank you so much. I appreciate that is correct. 120 pounds. That is correct. Uh, let's see. I will ask other person. Let's see. I will choose a boy at this moment. And for that one, I will choose Mr. Manuel. Mr. Manuel. Hello, hello. Manuel, how many units are there in the shipment? ¿Cuántas unidades habrán en el cargamento? According to this shipping label. Three units. Oh. Sorry? Six Three units. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. As you can see, the information is in quantity. Estamos hablando de cantidad. But, Manuel, I will ask you a favor. Can we please create the complete sentence? You can say, there are... 65 units. Vamos a tratar de dar una respuesta completa. Su respuesta está apropiada, o perdón, es correcta, porque estamos identificando la información, pero lo acompañamos con información completa. Entonces, tratemos de dar la respuesta. There are 65 units. There are 65 units. Thank you so much, and that is correct. All right. And then I have on this one. Check at the end, there is MFG date, right? That is an extra information. That is the abbreviation of manufacturing date, okay? That is the manufacturing date that we have at this moment. And I have a question. How do you read this date? ¿Cómo leeríamos esa fecha que tenemos ahí, la fecha de producción, manufacturing date? I need volunteers, necesito voluntar. No, I will choose. Yo lo voy a voluntariar. Yo vi que a algunos les gusta que yo lo voluntarie. Uh, let's see. I will ask, uh -huh. I will ask Josué, how do you read the manufacturing date? ¿Cómo mencionaríamos esa fecha? Sorry, teacher. I, I don't remember how to read the date. No problem, no problem. Somebody is going to help you. Siempre tenemos compañeros que están al tanto de ayudarle, así que Pídale usted a un compañero, hey, mister, can you help me? Vamos a practicar si es posible, ¿verdad? Hey, diga el nombre del compañero y dile, hey, Juanito, can you help me? Y el compañero con gusto y con todos esos ánimos le va a decir, sí, I can but, do it. But I need a volunteer. Uh, classmate, have, can, can I help me? 
Choose a person. Usted escójalo, me le voy a dar ese poder. Escójalo. <risa> Sin pena, que aquí todos quieren practicar, así que no se preocupe. No, no, lo van a, no se van a enojar con usted, don't worry. Julio César. Can you help me? Can you help me? Sure, sure, I can. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, it will be the 4th of December, 2013. The 4th of December, 2013. All right. What, what do you think? Thank you so much. 4th of December. 4th of December. Miss Magali, what do you think? Is that correct? Será correcta esa lectura de esa fecha? 4th of December. Mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, if the complete information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't, 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 I don't know, say, how do you say? All right, no problem, no problem, no problem. All right, that's, uh, thank you so much for Julio, and that is correct. In this case, we have Nate, wait. A parenthesis for infor informative parenthesis and advertisement on this one. When we talk about dates, as you can see in this one, there is an abbreviation. It is not a complete date. That is a, a short form to mention the date. And in English, when you mention the date, the first element is the month. The second element is the date. And finally, the year. In this case, as Mr. Julio Cesar mentioned, number 12 presents the month. That is December and four is the day number four of December, right? Because in Spanish, it is different. If we read this one in Spanish, you're going to say, se me va a decir el 12 de abril, teacher, ¿verdad? Nosotros así abreviamos las fechas en español. Mes, uh, perdón, día, mes, año. But in English, the order is different, similar to the complete form. Respetan la forma en que se escribe Cuando usted escribe la fecha en, en letras y su forma completa, siempre mencionamos primero mes, día y año. Por eso es que ahí, como Mr. Julio mentioned, it is December 4th, 2013. Right? That should be the correct reading for this uh, shipping label. Right? So, thank you so much, Mr. Julio. That's a good job. Uh, any questions? Of the eight, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. ¿En el manejo de las fechas nunca se incluyen los ceros? Los ceros como 0, 4. Sí. It is possible. In this case, it, it is an alternative. 0, 4, it is possible. Se puede incluir, eso no es problema. Y es cuestión tal vez de la persona que lo redacta, pero no, no sería como incorrecto. Pero no está de más, se podría incluir el 0, 4 en esos casos. ¿Mm? Ok, if there are... If there is no other question on this one, as you can see on page, in the same page, that is in page 15, there are some questions. What is the shipping address? What is the mailing address? How many units are in the package? What is the manufacturing date? Right? That is what we have. Those are the questions that we have. Before we go to the, to the next practice, I will ask a person to read the complete four, four questions. Necesito voluntario. Vamos a practicar antes de continuar a la siguiente práctica. And for that one, let's see. I will ask Fabiola. Hello, Miss Fabiola. Can you read the questions? Necesito nada más que me, que me lea las preguntas. No es necesario que responda. Ahorita solo quiero escuchar cómo pronunciamos las preguntas. Please, Miss Fabiola. What is the shipping address? Mm -hmm. What is the mailing address? Mm -hmm. How many units are in the package? package uh -huh. What is the manufacturing date? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. Miss Carla, do the same, please. Help me. Yo, teacher. Yeah, please. Ah, okay. Uh, what is the shipping address? What is the mailing address? Mm. How many units are in the package? Mm. What is the manufacturing date? Mm. 
manufacturing date. Thank you so much. And let's see, I will ask Mr. Marvin, that is going to be the, the final volunteer at this, at this time. Uh, read to read the questions yeah to read the questions please what is the shipping address mm -hmm. what is the mailing address how many units are in the package mm -hmm. what is the manufacturing date the manufacturing date thank you so much as in this time we're going to work on something at this moment as you can see these questions are related to the previous shipping label we're going to be working in pairs and you are going to be asking the question to your partner. You listen to the question and then you give the information based on the shipping label. Vamos a trabajar en los break rooms. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Lo mismo que hicimos acá, practicando las preguntas con algunos de sus compañeros. Vamos a trabajar one and one. One person is going to ask. Una persona va a preguntar. Ahí tenemos ya las preguntas formuladas. And the other person is going to check and read the information in the shipping label. La otra persona va a ver la, la etiqueta ahí de envío de que, donde tenemos la información y vamos a tratar de reportar la información que tenemos en pantalla. Eso siempre de acuerdo al manual y la información que tenemos ahí. Okay. We try to alternate. Vamos a tratar de alternar. Y motive a su compañero a que pregunta completa y respuesta completa. Respuesta completa si le dice, what is the manufacturing date? It is December 4th. Complete sentence, right? Tratamos de utilizar respuestas largas y completas. Eso es lo que nosotros tendríamos que tratar de uh, practicar en este momento. Let's see. Let me check on this one. Vamos a chequear on the rooms. Let's see. Let me assign this one. Eight. All right. I will move you here. Okay. I guess everybody will be in one room. Cada uno va a estar en un cuarto, en, en un break room, and you participate, please. And I will be monitoring. Remember to speak English. I will ask you for that favor, right? Try to speak English all the time. Recuérdese que ahí yo lo estoy monitoreando y que de repente llego de sorpresa y ahí los escucho. Así que traten de utilizar el idioma inglés. Ese es el objetivo. Si ya terminó, pues vuelva a preguntar a su compañero, ¿verdad? No diga como, ah, ya salí del compromiso, ya le hice mis preguntas y plan. Nah, nah. Try to practice, right? You will receive the invitation promptly, right? Try to accept it, please. Thank you so much. You. Yeah. Okay. What is the mailing address? From Cover King, 23 Glen Way, uh, San Carlos, California, 0570, Madeline, the USA. 
Okay. And now, how many units are in the package? Uh, there, there are, there are sixty-five units. Right. Good job. Units. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the? Hi, Magali. Hello. I incorporated Magali to your group because I saw that she was alone. I guess, right? So. Let's try to try, try to alternate, right? Traten de alternar. Uno hace una pregunta, el otro responde, y así tratan de practicar, right? Thank you so much. Okay. And continue okay. working hard. Thank you. Okay. How many units are Salvador? What is the mailing address? The mailing address is Traver in 2023 Glenway. San Carlos, California, uh, 0570. How many units are in the package? There are 65 units. 65 units, correct. Good job. What is the manufacturing eh, date? Uh, is that's okay? How many units are in the package? Uh, are the uh, or units are in the uh, yeah, 75, 75 units? 60. 60. 65. 65. 65. That's 65 correct. Units. <clears throat> Thank you so much. What is the manu manufacturing date? What is the manufacturing date? Uh, the manufacturing date is uh, 12, uh, 12, no, December, 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 December 4, uh, 2013. Okay. So, now you switch. Ahora traten de cambiar. Si no lo han hecho, you switch. Manuel, you ask the question and Javier, you answer, right? Try to take the time to, to alternate. Thank you so much. Okay, where is the shipping okay. address? Grammatica, please. Entonces, Travel in 22, Len, Guay, San Carlos, Central America, O, Pai, CBC. Sería así. Ajá, solo que eh, CA es la abreviación de California. California, mm -hmm. <laughs> sí, California, ah. California. Ah, California, porque es de, de, de Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. Ajá, Okay. And how many units are in the package? Sixty-five units. But try to give, Miss Fabi, good job. But try to give the complete sentence. La respuesta está correcta porque identificó la información, pero tratamos de dar una respuesta completa. En este caso, solo le falta agregar there are, que en, en español se traduciría hay, como de existencia. There are 65 yeah. units. Esa sería una respuesta ya más completa, pero su respuesta estuvo bien. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Continue practicing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you want me to ask you a question again? Yes. <laughs> okay. How many units are in the package? Puchica, este, me acuerdo que Juan Francisco mencionó algo de esto. De que a veces utilizamos el, el there, el this, el does. Eh, cuando señalamos como el como cuántas unidades es? cuando como cuánto vemos así enfrente de nosotros uh -huh. This, se, se acuerda y si y, bueno, y el teacher explicó pero ya no ajá. me acuerdo y ahí está y, sí. y quiero oh my god eh, y, y, I remember <risa> yo sí me acuerdo I remember I can help you yo sí puedo ayudar no te help me I, I listen eh, ok the, the answer Uh, maybe uh, mm -hmm. is uh, in the number three. How number many three. units are in the package? There uh -huh. are 
Mm -hmm. 60, 65 units. That's correct. Ah. There are. Mm -hmm. ah, there, exactly. Ah. En Somos estos un gran casos, equipo, él sí, ya vio. Eh, ya ven. <ríe> Excelente. En este caso, recuérdese que están pre la pregunta es como cuántas, hablando de cantidad, ¿verdad? Y para hablar de existencia, que algo existe o que hay, como nosotros lo expresamos en, en español, utilizamos el there. T H E R R E. Ajá. There. Y como estamos hablando de algo plural, el verbo to be lo utilizamos en plural. No sí, podríamos plural. decir there is. There ah, is. Exacto. There is, porque como tenemos el complemento que es plural, you say there are. There, there are. There are 65 units. Y solo para aportarle un poquitito más con el, el uso del this y el that, eso sí lo mencionamos ayer, así a grosso modo, ¿verdad? Pero. Eso hablamos de, cuando hablamos de un artículo individual, que solo es uno, utilizamos la palabra this. T-H-I-S. This. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Puede decir este. Uh -huh. Que yo tengo acá cerquita, ¿verdad? Este. Si el teléfono yo lo tuviera lejos, entonces yo digo that. Como dicen aquel. T-H-A-T. Right? That is the spelling. Cuando hablamos de singulares. Y ahí tenemos como una división entre singulares y aparte le aportamos distancia. Right? Mm -hmm. This, la, la hoja that, de tarea. aquel, aquel. This, that. Cuando es plural, for the plural, you say this, this. T-H-E-S-E. -E. That is the spelling. Right? And you say, mm -hmm. for example, you say these, mm -hmm. the two. These. Mm -hmm. Ahí tengo dos. Yes cerca, this. Si los markers have a big distance, esto. you say yes. those. Uno. Those. those. Eso Ajá. le iba a preguntar, can mm -hmm. you can okay. use those? It's o, o, in, in the answer, in this one. <coughs> eh, Ajá, pero ya es lo que se acaba de decir, Ajá. que those es cuando están, están lejos. lejos y son más son de uno. Dos, más de uno. M más de uno, exacto. Ah. Más de uno ahí la cara. Ah. Exacto, pero ahí es those, es como un determinante. En la respuesta, para hablar de existencia, el this, el that, no entran tanto en juego. Ahí utilizamos el there is o el there are, para hablar de existencia. Uh -huh. There is, there are, ok. Any other question? Thank you. Oh. Miss Carla, questions. La, 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 la veo ahí como que me quiere preguntar, pero con pena, sin pena. Ask me, no problem. Ok, teacher. For example, if mm -hmm. I need to use the, mm -hmm. the, the, in, el, in, el verb, in the verb to be, mm -hmm. why I need to use are with mm -hmm. a, that WH question? Because... Mm -hmm. I don't remember why. <laughs> uh, give me an example in context. Deme un ejemplo que tal vez usted pueda pensar para yo agarrarle la idea and I can explain to you. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, uh, for example, when I say, what is the shipping address? Mm -hmm. My answer is there, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, the shipping address are. Is. Uh, in this case, is. That should be answered. Ah, the shipping ah, address ah, is. Uh -huh. yeah, Because you're yeah. talking about but, shipping address is only one and it is singular. Uh, for that for that reason, mm -hmm. in this one, we go for countable and uncountable mm -hmm. nouns. Because it is uncountable and we're talking about only about mm -hmm. one. You say, what is the shipping address? And as you can see, in the question, we include the verb that is necessary in the answer. Mm -hmm. Right? Say, what is the shipping address? Ah. The shipping address is. Remember that in questions, yes. mm -hmm. sometimes there is only an inversion of the elements, right? The yes. ship is the shipping address. The shipping address mm -hmm. is, right? There is just an inversion in that is. Mm -hmm. And that is why, or well, because it is an uncountable, now we go for uh, is, singular verb. Mm -hmm. Any other question, Miss Carla? No, sir. No, right? Thank you so much. Continue. Thank you, right 
Hello, hello, and welcome. Thank you so much for participating with your partner. Thank you, thank you. I see more people coming. Thank you so much. Teacher, I have a question. Let me ask me. What is the difference with shipping address and mailing address? All right, thank you so much. Uh, the difference is about the product or something that is going to arrive to a place. For example, the address makes reference to a place. When you mention shipping address, it is the destination for a product. Imagine, imagine I am buying something online and they ask me, what is the shipping address? What is the destination for the product? And I specify the location, right? They say, blah, 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 my house, right? Neighborhood, this and that and I include the information. That is the destination for the product. When you talk about mailing address, it is a place also, but in this case, it is the, the destination for letters or for correspondence that you can receive. So actually what you talk is more like what is going to arrive the place. Shipping products, mailing, sometimes documents, letters, and sometimes there is also a billing address, B-I-L-L-I-N-G, billing address, that is the information that is usually in the credit card when you pay something electronically, right? So there are three different uh, addresses, let's say, right? Or it could be the same. In este caso, podrían ser, la misma podría ser, pero la dicen entre la dirección de envío, dirección quizás de correspondencia o dirección de facturación, dependiendo. Entonces, pero el address siempre hace referencia a una ubicación y ahí especifico. O sea, imagínense que yo pago por algo, compro algo en internet, pero no lo quiero para mí, lo quiero para un amigo. El shipping address is not my house. Right? Allá no pongo mi casa, sino que donde quiero que llegue el producto. Quiero que llegue donde mi amigo. And what about the bill? ¿Quién va a recibir la factura? Me. So I include my address and the mailing address. Ahí nada más especificando qué quiero recibir yo. Tal vez la correspondencia o si quiero responder la, fa la factura. Y entonces pongo mi dirección, pero el envío, el producto, quiero que le llegue a mi amigo. Entonces esa sería la diferencia entre shipping address, mailing address y el otro que sería billing como de facturación. Billing address. b i l l ING. Okay, thank right. you. You're welcome. Welcome. All right. Thank you so much. I guess everybody's here at this moment. Creo que a todos regresamos. Okay. Yes, I have me. a question. Ask uh, me. When you give the address, uh, mm -hmm. you, you can uh, say O or zero. The two options are possible. Remember that in this case, the number zero has two different pronunciations zero or O are possible. Mm -hmm. The two of them are possible, all right? Thank you so much. Let's see, on this, I need people to turn on the microphone at this moment, right? I need to listen to your option because I know you were talking to your classmates, but I need to check what your answers are. Let's see, I will ask you the question and I, peep, and I want people to volunteer and to read. Tengo que perder el miedo de decir quién va a participar. Haga la pregunta y usted participe, no se preocupe. Uh, what is the shipping address? People? Uh, the, the shipping, shipping address, address is, is Literal Road, Literal. number 34, La Unión, El Salvador. Thank you so much. That's correct. Uh, let me check on this one, my presentation. Thank you, Literal Road, 34, La Unión, El Salvador. And what is the mailing address? What are the options that you have? The mailing address is uh, Travers Inc. Mm -hmm. 24 Glen Way, San Carlos, California, 0570. Thank you so much, Mr. Julio. 
right? In this one, I include this one that is possible. As I told you, it's different. Ahí va a depender del contexto en el que sea. Pudiera ser que el que la recibe del shipping address es el mismo, o puede ser que el que hizo el envío, que tenemos ahí, Travers Inc., Incorporated, Corporation, podría ser eso. Así que las dos opciones son viables. O sea, no nos, no nos vamos a encajonar con que esta era o era la otra. Cualquiera. La verdad necesitaríamos más información para entender el contexto de cuál sería la mailing address. Pero con la explicación que les di anterior, espero que quede un poquito claro cuál es la mailing address y la shipping address. Usted puede, eh, sí. pues, puede utilizar cualquiera. Dígame, tell me. Excuse me, es que cuando dio esa explicación uh -huh. no, no le escuchaba nada. Uh, okay. Entonces no entendí, no entendí, por lo menos uh -huh. nosotros tuvimos esa duda en cuanto uh -huh. si, ven, si era la dirección porque las dos representaban re, de envío, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Dirección de envío. Uh -huh. Entonces one... solo alcancé a oír. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you so much. Uh, I, I appreciate I that. Have another question. Uh, indeed. Wait, um, I, I will answer. CA, in, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. CA is California or Central America? Uh, it should, because it says made in the US, it should be California. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for that reason. Okay, thank you. Going back to Noemi in this one. Checking on the information, we have two addresses. One, we have Glenway, San Carlos, uh, California, and there is other address. That is Literal Road 34 La Union. In this segment, when we have two, that is the person that is going to receive. Como en las cartas, o cuando uno pone correspondencia, from es de quien, eh, quien lo manda, y el to is the receiver. Mm -hmm. In this case, when you talk about the shipping address, that should be Literal Road. Ahí sí estamos fijos que el shipping address sería Literal Road por la información que dice to. Porque es la persona que lo va a recibir. En la mailing address, como les explicaba anteriormente, el mailing address hace referencia a la dirección donde yo deseo que me envíen las cartas o documentos o cualquier correspondencia. Eso sería una mailing address. Por eso les comentaba en este, podría ser que el comprador, si yo soy el comprador y yo dije que me lo manden al Literal Road, I say I want the mailing address the same. Okay. Puede ser que yo defina y que diga que sería la misma, porque yo soy el comprador, podría ser. O podría ser en el caso Glenway, San Carlos, como les mencionaba. Por eso les decía, tal vez no nos vamos a enfocar en que es, es en litoral o es en Glenway. We need more context. Uh -huh. We need more context. Tal vez con más contexto podríamos determinar si sería Glenway o Literal Road. Right? But that is one of the differences. Right? Thank you so much. You're welcome. And how many units are there? Let's continue. Number three, how many units are there are in the package? Sorry, how many units are in the package? There are 65 units. Thank you so much. There are 65 units. And the last one, what is the manufacturing date? The manufacturing date is um, December. Mm -hmm. um, December 4, 2013. 2013. Thank you so much. That is correct. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. Is there any question about this exercise? Questions? Questions? Okay. Let's do something. I will go over the attendance. According to my time, it is time to check on this one. I will call your name and please say press and I'm here, you know, different options to confirm that you are at this video conference. The first person, Alejandra Maria. Miss Alejandra Maria. Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Edgar Alfredo Mejibar. Present. Yeah. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Elsie Janet. Present. Thank you. Fabiola Georgina. Miss Fabiola. 
Thank you so much. Uh, Francisco Javier. I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, Irene Azucena. Miss Irene. Okay, let's continue. Jennifer Magali. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Josu Alberto. Present. Thank you. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Julio Cesar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Carla Marta. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Noemi. Carla Noemi. Not at this time. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Manuel de Jesus. Present. Thank you so much. Mariela de Los Angeles. Not at this moment. Marvin Wilfredo. I'm still here. Thank you so much. Uh, Werner Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Mr. Werner. Uh, Noemi Cordova. Present. Thank you so much. And I have Suleima Ivonne. Present. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go over this one. As you mentioned, that is the manufacturing date. That is December 4th, 2013. Okay, let's move to the next part of this class. We're going to check on how to use going to. As you may know, or if not, today is the day that we're going to check on this one. Going to is used to talk about future events, right? In this case, we talk about not something about yesterday, not something about the past. You talk about something that is going to happen probably in the near future. Mr. Juan Francisco, tell me, how may I help you? Uh, teacher, I had a question. Ask me, no problem. Uh, I can say on uh, December 4, 2013. Mm -hmm. 13. Is, is correct. Yeah, 2013. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes, okay. or sometimes, remember that in dates, in this case for years, you mentioned two numbers. You say 2013. That is other possibility. Right? Because oh, for, okay. for years, sometimes the expression is too long, like as in Spanish, right? It is too long. So they don't say, for example, uh, they don't say 1,990, talking about the number. They say 20, uh, 1990, right? Generalmente, incluso en, en fechas, los años hacen cierta abreviación. No leen la cifra completa como nosotros. Por ejemplo, 1990, si estamos una referencia de un año, generalmente lo dicen en dos cifras. Lo dividen como decir en español 1990. In Spanish, we don't do it, right? But in English, it is possible. You say 1990, right? That is other form to make an abbreviation for dates. But your version is correct. 20, 2013 or 2013. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm happy to help. Okay, let's move on this one. As I was telling you, going to is used to talk about future events. Not something from the past, not something from yesterday, probably something that is going to happen later today, or something that is going to happen tomorrow, next week, next month, or next year. That is how uh, the reference for going to. Check on this one. If we go over the structure for uh, this one, for going to, we're going to need, as always, the subject. You know, in, in English sentences, the subject is very important and cannot be omitted. It is essential in the sentence. We have a subject, then you have be, 
in this case, the V is going to be conjugated. It is not going to be literal V. We can have am, um, we can have is, or we can have are. The three different versions of the verb to be. B in this one is a representation, right? Se me vaya a confundir en el, lo que le estoy mostrando. Dice B, pero el B no es que literalmente usted me vaya a escribir B en la oración. O que lo vayamos a ver tal cual B sino que es la representación del verbo to be que recordamos que se conjuga dependiendo de la persona. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are. Right? So you just have to keep in mind that one. Tenemos que mantener en mente la conjugación del verbo to be in this case. After the verb to be, you need going to. And that is permanent for all people that we're talking about. I am going to, you are going to, she is going to, we are going to, they are going to. That is permanent. That, that is a permanent element in this structure. After that one, you need a verb. And the verb is going to be in the base form. And finally, we have a complement, right? That is the necessary structure to talk about going to, to talk about future events. Let's check on my example. For example, so you say Patrick. Patrick, and let's say, I will ask some people. If I have in the sentence and I have Patrick, Mr. Manuel Montoya, help me please. What is the verb to be for that one? Yes. Thank you so much, that's correct. You say Patrick is, let me check on this one. You say Patrick is, and what is the next element, Javier? Going to. Going to, that's correct, because as I mentioned, going to is a permanent element in this sentence. Going to, and after that one, you have a, a verb in the base form. And I, and I include rest, right? Para mi versión de la oración, yo utilicé el verbo, el verbo descansar. Pero si usted ve ahí, después del going to, el verbo va sin ninguna conjugación, sin nada extra. El verbo tal cual. Patrick is going to rest. And I need a complement. That is, that is uh, they, they, they can have different complements. El, el complemento puede variar. Pueden ser diferentes. And I include Patrick is going to rest tomorrow. Right? Patrick va a descansar mañana. That is a sentence that I can include. And as you can see, we're using the structure to talk about a future event. Let's see. Miss Elsie, help me, please. Can you read the sentence? Necesito que me ayude leyendo la información o la oración rojo que tenemos on screen. Okay. The shipman is mm -hmm. going to arrive next month. That is correct. Thank you so much. And that is other version or, or that is other idea. The shipman is going to arrive next month. Say, thank you so much. Let's see, I have other sentence. Mr. Werner, can you help me with the sentence in purple, please? Luis, Luis mm -hmm. is going to pay 100 for shipping. 100, in this case, $100, right? We incorporate the $100 for shipping, yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Luis is going to pay $100 for shipping, right? That is something that is, is for the future. He is going to pay. And that is how we make sentences in the affirmative. At this moment, is there any question about the structure? Questions, no, questions? No. Mm -hmm. no. Thank you so much. I will appreciate your oral, oral confirmation about this one. Questions? No, no questions. No questions. Thank you so much. I appreciate your confirmation. Thank you so much. That's correct. Let's check on this one. This is the affirmative form, but how do we make the negative sentences? Because for plans, you can talk about something that is going to happen in the future, or you can talk about something that is not going to happen in the future. Check on this one. To make the negative, we just have to include the particle, in this case, not in the position that you see on the screen right now. You go subject, 
the verb to be. After the verb to be, we include the negative part, not, and then going to, and the rest is the same, going to, plus the base form, plus the complement. Right? And that is what we do. In this case, my example sentence, Patrick is going to rest. What is the negative, what should be the negative form of that one? And I will ask, oh, sorry. Let me see, what am I doing? Let me check. And I will ask Miss Irene. Hello, Miss Irene. Hello. What, thank you so much. Hello, hello, hello. What should be the negative sentence for a Patrick is going to rest tomorrow? Okay, Patrick isn't going to rest tomorrow. That's correct. Thank you so much. Patrick, in that case, you mentioned the contraction and that is correct. I included the complete form, but that is correct. One form or the other is correct. Patrick is not going to, or Patrick isn't going to. For that one, there is no problem. The contraction is possible, right? Patrick isn't, Patrick is not going to. Thank you so much, Miss Irene. And let's see, Marvin, what is the negative sentence for the, the one in red? Repeat, for, repeat, please. Uh, what is the negative sentence for the one we have in red? The ship, the shipman is going to arrive. What is the negative sentence for that? Uh, the shipping, the shipment is shipment. not going to arrive next month. Okay, thank you so much. Check on that one. Arrive. Talking about the pronunciation, arrive. But that is correct. That is the negative sentence for that one. And Mr. Edgar, what is the negative sentence for the sentence in purple? This uh, isn't going to pay uh, one, 100 uh, for shipping. Exactly. Louis is not going to pay $100 for shipping. Okay, thank you so much. Questions at the moment about affirmative and negative sentences uh, for going to? Any question? Questions, questions? No questions at this moment. No okay, no thank question. you so much. We're going to move to the next uh, part. In this case, as you have in your books, that is page 15. And this is similar to the previous exercise that we did in the first part of the class. We are going to unscramble the elements, put the words in order, check that there are different words, and we are going to create the questions for this one. Check on the first one. Who can help me? ¿Quién me puede ayudar con la primera? First sentence or first question, let's say. They are, Thank you, Javier. Mm -hmm. are going to. Mm -hmm. Where they are um, going to pick up the package. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to participate? Uh, where, where are they? All right. Let's see, Miss Noemi, help me please. And then Andres. Where are they going to pick, pick up? Pick up? The package. The package, right? Where are they going to pick up? the package, right? Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Andres, the next one, number two. Number two, uh, who is going to receive the shipping? Thank you so much. Who is going to receive the shipping? That is correct. Thank you so much. And number three, I will ask, let's see, Miss Carla, Miss Carla Cano, number three, please. When is going to arrive the new material? 
the new material, probably the order should be different. El elemento new material debería ir eh, antes en su pregunta. Right? But thank you so much. Thank you so much. Vamos a chequear más versiones. Don't worry. Ya vamos a llegar a la respuesta correcta. Thank you so much. Let's see. Mr. Julio Cesar, what is the, the question for number three? Oh, sure. When is the new material going to arrive? When is the new material? Did I say that right? Yeah. Is the new new material going to arrive? That is correct. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that one. Double check it on this one. Question number one. When, where are they going to pick up the package? Number two. Who is going to receive the shipping? And number three, when is the new material going to arrive? That's, those should be the three questions for this exercise. Any question at this moment? Questions, questions? Podría repetir la número uh, tres. No, number three. No yes. All right. Thank you so much. The last question is, when is the new material going to arrive? Let me check on Thanks. this one. When is the new material going to arrive? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, el going to is para hmm? futuro, ¿verdad? Okay, y yeah. también el will. Entonces, yes. el going to lo vamos a utilizar para eh, situaciones que estoy segura que van a pasar. Yes, in this context, there is a small difference for will and going to. Sometimes will is used for something that happens in the moment, like a spontaneous decision. For example, imagine you tell me, ah, I don't have paper. Hey, I will give you some. Something in the future, but it's an spontaneous, uh, an spontaneous decision, probably when you are talking. In this case, in contrast mm -hmm. with the going to, going to implies that you have a plan or sometimes, some, as you mentioned, is going to happen. You are probably more likely something is going to happen, right? Probably you are sure that something is going to happen and for that one it is better to use the going to but the two are, are possible right if you mention i will i will dance tomorrow to give you an example you have an idea but the plan probably is not going to happen but if you mention i am going to dance that shows more determination and that the plan is going to happen thanks you're welcome. Let's see, I'm just checking just for this one, just for you to copy and to check on this one if you are still missing on this. Let's see, where are they going to pick up the package? Okay, these should be the, the, the questions based on the information. Where are they going to pick up the package? The next one, who is going to receive the shipping? And finally, when is the new material going to arrive? Hmm? Those should be the questions. Okay. Let's go for the next practice. If there are no more questions, let's see. Let me check on this one. Oops. Sorry for the technical issues. All right. Okay, we're going to work on the next activity and this one talking about the future plans. That is the main objective of this one. And this is the other use we are going to give to the paper I asked. In this one, we're going to use a piece of paper, I told you before. We're going to use a marker and we're going to draw a representation for future plans. I know probably, well, 
talking about me. I am not an artist, right? It's hard to draw, but let's give it a try, right? For example, I, you can divide your paper with different information. For example, I have tomorrow, I have a future reference tomorrow on Monday, and I have next year. Those are my future references, right? You can create something like that. Se puede crear algo así en su página. Ponga fecha de referencia que sea del futuro. Right? Ahí ustedes escogen el siguiente semana, el siguiente miércoles, o, o en dos semanas. You create something like that. And based on it, we are going to create a representation. Let me check. I have my first representation. Así de palitos, no importa. Recuérdense que por lo menos yo no soy un artista, pero vamos a intentarlo. Check on this one. I have my first one. This is a representation about an action. Then I go for the other on Monday. If you can create yours. Si pueden ahí vaya creando el suyo. On Monday, and I have other. Voy a crear otra ilustración. A bit big. Right? And I have my other illustration. On Monday, and I have a reference about here. And next year, I will create other sentence. Let's see. And I have my final illustration on this one, right? The third illustration for me. What is the idea that we're going to be talking with people about the future plans? We're going to ask the question in this one, and I am going to ask partners. I will ask people, what am I going to do? And I will ask that my reference, right? Vamos a utilizar la pregunta. Yo voy a preguntar a mi compañero, Él va a identificar la, la información y vamos a crear una oración en base a eso. Yo pregunto, hey, compañero, ¿qué voy a hacer yo mañana? Y yo le voy a mostrar mi, mi, mi ilustración. Tomorrow. The person is going to try to answer. Y usted va a traer, hey, you are going to. La persona le va a responder, vos vas a, y menciona la acción, independ, o sea, la referencia que tiene de la imagen. Let's give it a try. Vamos a hacer un intento ahorita. Let's see. I will choose a person at this moment. Um, let's see. Javier. Mr. Javier, what am I going to do tomorrow? You are going tomorrow to sleep. To sleep. Thank you so much. In this case, the time expression can go at the end. You are going to sleep tomorrow. Las expresiones de tiempo pueden ir en medio al inicio. Usted me puede decir, tomorrow you are going to sleep. No problem, right? Generalmente las ponemos al final, pero no está mala la idea. Thank you so much. Uy, por lo menos entendieron el, el garabato que hice. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Francisco, for interpreting my, my drawing. Muy feliz a dormir, pero ahí va. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Miss Elsie, what? Check on the screen, Miss Elsie. I need your help on this. Miss Elsie, check on this one. What am I going to do on Monday? On Monday, um, you, are? you are going to the... I'm going, perdón. No, you are. Yo le pregunté qué voy a hacer um, yo. You Usted are me responde, going you are. to mm -hmm. the... Okay, you see, okay. Pero no vi la imagen, teacher. Ah, it's here. Sí. Su imagen se ha quedado congelada. Es se que está congelada. congelada. Okay, sorry, that one. It's freezed. Let me see, let me shut it down. What about now? Como se dice, teacher, is, su imagen está congelada y freezer. ¿cómo? It's freeze. Uh -huh. It's freeze or it's frozen. Uh -huh. Frozen. Uh -huh. it's freeze. Así como lo que usted se toma, el frozen. It's frozen. Screen. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se diría? Uh -huh. 
¿Cómo se dice? Hay que pagar la factura del cable. Uh, del internet. Ah, oh, come on. You come have on. to pay. You have to pay the internet bill. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. For that reason, I, you have my to internet, pay the internet. Yeah. It's my obligation, but I'm sorry. My internet is limited at this moment. <laughs> Thank you. The, the, internet. the package. The package is over. <laughs> what about the screen? Is it better now? Sure. Can you can you see the, 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 the camera at this moment or is it frozen? Todavía está congelada. Sí. No, uh, no, ahora sí ya. Ya ahora sí ya. Okay, thank you so much. I called to, to the to the company. En cámara lenta, ¿cómo se dice, profe? En In cámara lenta. Slow motion. <laughs> ah, slow motion, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Miss Elsie. Uh, you are going to the beach. You are going to the beach. Thank you so On much. Monday. On Monday, that's correct. And I will ask other person on this one, Miss Noemi. What am I going to do next year? Trate de interpretar el dibujo. Recuerde que no son respuestas exactas. What am I going to do next year? You are going to um, buy the car. To buy a car. Thank you. That's a good idea. I was going to say to take a taxi. Yo decía irme en Uber o algo así. <laughs> but thank you so much. Hey, me llega ese plan. Thank you so much. That's the idea. All right. That is what we are going to do at this moment. You are going to work in pairs. And or, or probably in trios. Vamos a poner en trios ahora para ir variando. Right. And you are going to show your illustration and you are going to ask. Recuerde que usted va a preguntar, what am I going to do? Bell, check on the question at the end of, uh, of the presentation here. What am I going to do? Y usted mismo toma de referencia la expresión de tiempo que usted ya determinó. Yo puse tomorrow or Monday, pero usted puede ocupar otra expresión de tiempo. Okay? And the person is going to report, you are going to, and then you incorporate your idea, right? Ahí trate de, 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 de identificar lo que su compañero ilustró y trate de expresar una idea, okay? Are we clear on this one? ¿Estamos en el entendido? Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. Let's see. I will create the break rooms and try to ask your partners as much as possible. Let's see. Break rooms. I will, I will create trias at this moment. Just give me a second. And I'm working on this. Heck. This one. Let's see. Here. And Mr. Well. All right, let me see. I will create the rooms right now and you will receive the invitation and let me see how everything goes. If not, I will make some necessary changes. Let's, let's see, let's get to the break rooms at this moment.
Mr. Werner? Hi, teacher. Are you alone in this room? Correct. Yes, eh, pero como lo que pasa es que en el anterior cuando me entré me envió invitación, pero me quedé yo solo. Ah, ok, sorry. No me agregó a otro grupo. Entonces quise buscar ahí, pero no tenía, como recién había entrado, no me salía todo el menú de todos. Ok, no problem. I will incorporate. Lo voy a mover a uno. Right. Pues está bien, teacher. Thank you. Y, y ahí disculpe, teacher, estoy saliendo un poco tarde del trabajo y, no, y eso, no. me, me, pero me incorporo inmediatamente. Eh, llegué, ahí puede ver en el video como a las ocho y media. Yeah, thank you so much. Sí. No, I appreciate. I know that you have responsibilities because all of you work and I know you're doing the effort, but yes. sometimes, you know, work responsibilities, you know, are, you know, it's impossible it's, to say no. <laughs> yes, it's difficult for me for um, it's, it's, it's my work uh, at the trainer. Uh, okay. It's, 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 uh, Como se dice, a veces no tenemos como un tiempo de salida. Es, 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 ¿Cómo se dice eso, Ticho? Sometimes we don't have a finish time. You can say that one. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you, Ticho. Mm -hmm. when, when it times, sometimes. I know. Sometimes it is possible, right? Because sometimes you go to your work and you begin, but you don't know when you are going to finish. <laughs> so it happens. All right. I will move you to this one. Okay. So you can participate with people. Okay. I need more coffee because I'm sleeping late. Uh, what about you, Juan Francisco? Okay. Mm. Uh, you are going to change the oil of your car? Mm -hmm. No, no, San Francisco is going to work. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Excellent yeah. representation. <laughs> Thank you so much. You continue like that. Thank you. Remember, remember, remember to ask the question. Remember that the person showing the, the, the illustration say, what am I going to do? Right? So okay. the other person is going to report. So we practice questions and answers. Okay? okay. Thank you so much. Continue like that. Good job. Okay. Okay. Uh, now it's your turn. And uh, you go to the Sunday play soccer. You are going. You are you are going. To play uh, play soccer. Ah, play basketball. Ah, okay. <laughs> hey, good. Excellent. Ah, okay. Excellent illustration. Penal. <laughs> yeah. And that's Penal. Right. <laughs> you are going to play. Remember in this one, uh, Mr. Manuel, you mentioned you are going and then you need the action. Recordamos siempre la estructura. Estamos bien, pero you después going. del going, mencionamos la acción. Y generalmente la expresión de tiempo va al final, ¿verdad? No la incluimos en medio. La podemos poner al going. inicio ajá, o la podemos poner al final. You are going okay. to play basketball y ahí la expresión de tiempo. Thank you so much. Okay. Teacher, teacher, yeah, teacher. Teacher, ask me. Teacher, sí, uh, the last. <laughs> ok. Uh, what, me. Am going, what am I going next year? What am I? What am I? Ajá. What? Uh -huh. You are, yeah, let me see. You are going to. Ah, okay. You are going to exercise. You are going to be fit. <laughs> yes. You see, excellent. <laughs> Good representation. <laughs> but variation of that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Continue working like that, right? Remember to ask the question what am I going to do? And the other person, check on the okay. picture and you try to report the information. Thank okay. you so much. Continue working like that. Okay, thanks. Now, Andres? Here. 
uh, what do you think I'm going to do next year? Next year you are going to... No, no se mira por el fondo que tenés. No, no, no se ve nada. Por demás. <laughs> ¿Cómo, cómo no, no se mira? Hay que identificar estas, estas porciones para que tengamos la base de que en cuánto lo vamos a hacer, que el día si es tomorrow, bye. Entonces decimos, eh, Edgar, visit, eh, Edgar are going to visit the mountain tomorrow, or the visit the mountain the weekend. Yeah, but it's a practice, but you can use tomorrow or next week or last year, or next year. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. And that's correct. Thank you, Miss Noemi. That is the idea that you incorporate a time reference. So it's easier for your partner to identify and to give reference about the future action. But that's correct. Thank you so much. Continue. Mr. Edgar, did you show your picture? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Clever and uh, uh, easy, right? <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> the hacker of the system, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Esa idea, de, esa idea of Josué. Check, <laughs> check on the conversation, Mr. Edgar. People are talking to you. Ya le vimos lo que están chateando ahí. Okay. Ah, Mr. Edgar, careful. Ah. Ah. <laughs> check the conversation. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Thank you so much. Continue, please, asking your partners about what you are going to do. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Noemi, what are you going to uh, Sunday, on Sunday? Um, yeah. By a car? I am going maybe. to. Maybe. By a car <laughs> next year? Maybe. Hmm? Next month. Next month, I'm going to get next my month. car. Next month. Yes. Oh. Probably. Yeah. Me or drawing. the. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Next year, I'm going to take a fly. What I am going to do? Next. Oh, go ahead, Gonzalo. No, 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 go ahead. I'm just listening. Pretend that I'm not here. I'm, I'm a ghost. You know, I'm a ghost. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you are going to take a flight next year. Mm -hmm. And, um, what about you, uh, Fabiola? I'm going to, I'm going to travel the next year. Next year, you are going to yeah. travel as well. Uh, <laughs> Miss Fabiola, where are you going to travel? I have a question. I'm curious about that. <laughs> Um, uh, no, no sé I don't know yet. Give me, a, give me an idea, just like that one. Trate de imaginarse. I'm going to travel to. Um, I'm going to Spain. Mm -hmm. Spain, huh? Great, good option. Mm -hmm. Good option. All right. Thank you so much. Continue working and try to ask about future plans. Thank you so much. On Saturday. Uh -huh. Okay. Ahora quién quién va a mostrar su imagen? Quiero arreglar lo de la imagen para que me la miren. Es que no se mira, vea. Déjenme ver si lo puedo arreglar. Y otra imagen que podamos poner. Es que bien, no puedo dibujar. 
Don't worry, that's the idea. And that's hello, the part. Did you know? Hello, hello. Oh my God. Or, or if you have your cell phone with you, probably you may look for a, for a yeah. picture on, on the cell phone, right? Uh, on the internet. Eh? That could be a variation. <laughs> Okay. Next year. You are no, I that's for me. I guess you are going to travel next year. Uh, is that correct? Yeah. Uh is uh airplane. It's an airplane, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And what about the rest? <laughs> and that's okay. And what about the rest? Eh, okay, what time? Another travel? No, no, it's for the no background, sé. probably. Ay, pero no sé cómo ah, se pero you are you going to meeting mm -hmm. on Friday. Mm -hmm. You're going, you are going, going in this to, case to meet. Remember that uh, after going, you meet. need the verb. Yeah. You are going to meet. Uh, right. You are going to meet. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you so much. You are going to meet on Friday. All right. Thank you so much. Continue working. Thank you. Bye. No, no, me, me, me gusta esa imagen. <laughs> <risa> ah, pero, pero es que vos eh, trabajas en, espérame, espérame, espérame. Sería en, en que me dijiste que trabajabas en, en... informática, ahí también este. En informática. No, nah, hombre, ese se mira más ejecutivo, este se mira así distinto, <risa> más gamer. <risa> How are you doing, people? Okay, oh, doing great. Fine, teacher. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Whose picture is that? Is that Javier's picture? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is Francisco Javier in the future? In the next oh, year. Yes. Wow, my goodness. No, it's informatic. Ah, yeah. Informatic. Oh, yes. oh, oh, nice. oh, oh, okay, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. This, this the photo is the photo. my life. Excellent. Okay. For the background. <laughs> Yeah. Are you going to be like a hacker in the future or something like yeah. that? Ah, nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be part of Anonymous? Uh, uh, yeah. I don't wow. know. Like Anonymous. Uh, wow, <laughs> my goodness. Good future for you, please. <laughs> yeah, if, you, others, uh, if you can hack the system, please, you can, uh, you know, you can work on my bank account probably to give me some money you know some numbers over there so eso es un delito teacher <laughs> <laughs> it's illicit no but okay it's thank illicit. you <laughs> okay thank you so much but i have to try you see i have to try but okay, thank you so okay. much okay. thank Depend you so much money. yeah Depend i know money, okay <laughs> oh, you see, you're asking me for money to give me money. Okay, after, that's not after correct. Word teacher, after word teacher, and <laughs> relax, relax. Okay, yeah. I think. <laughs> Warner, Warner, pass on the other. No, one. La, la primera. Ah, the first the one. Next, the first one. Where are you training? He says that Warner will train and he is the child who is behind here. <laughs> He's going to train. Come on. All right. Yeah. No, come on. Be careful. Remember. I, I, come I, on. I coach. I, I, yes. You coach. All right. Thank you so yeah. much. All right. Thank okay. you so much. All right. We're going to check on this one. All right, let's see. I guess everybody's back from the practice that you were doing. Thank you so much. I appreciate your effort on this one. Now, just to finish on this exercise, we are going to report because you were working in groups. At this moment, every person is going to report a future plan of a classmate. For example, imagine that I was talking to Carlos 
and I am going to report, hey, classmate, Carlos is going to travel to Canada next month. Now it's time to report the information because you were talking about future plans. Now we report different information from your classmates. I will start with Mr. Manuel. Manuel, can you share some information? Vamos a compartir. Ya nosotros hablamos de nuestros planes con los compañeros, pero ahora es ver qué tanta atención le prestamos al compañero de lo que nos comentó. Así que yo voy a, yo voy a reportar información de alguien más. Ya la mía, ya no. Right? Así que ahí reportamos información. Mr. Manuel, you are the first one to participate. Tell me, what can you tell us about your classmates' future plans? Uh, we hear you, Mr. Manuel. The microphone probably is, is off. Uh, mm -hmm. Carlita mm -hmm. uh, going to meet meeting Friday. Meet Friday. Meet on Friday. Who is she going to meet with? Con quién se va a reunir? She is going to meet with with uh, with con los compañeros, no sé cómo Okay, with, si son de trabajo sería with coworkers. Si son compañeros de clase sería classmates. Pero creería que del trabajo. Meet with coworkers. Irene, going to celebrate, celebrate, you, you, no, perdón, el cumpleaños de ella, her, her, exactly. Her birthday. Celebrate uh, her birthday. Birthday. Thank you so much. That's correct. When you talk about something about her, you say her birthday. Aunque si dice el Jory y me quieren dar la sorpresa, yo no me enojo. No problem. No problem for me. Si me dice, she's going to celebrate your birthday, welcome. I'm happy. Bienvenido sea. Thank you so much. Mr. Manuel, thank you. Miss Carla, can you report the information from one classmate, please? Miss Carla Cano. Vamos a reportar una oración de lo que sus compañeros le dijeron. Ok, como ustedes no okay teacher. Elsie uh -huh. uh -huh. is going to the beach on Saturday. Thank you so much. Thank you for your information. Josué, what can you tell us about your classmates' plans? Ok. No, I mean... It's going to travel to Panama next year. Oh. And Edgar is going to play water pool on Sunday. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. That's very interesting. Thank you so much. Uh, Francisco, what about your classmates? What are their plans? Okay. Um, de Manuel. Um, mm -hmm. Para mañana dice que le toca ir a trabajar a la oficina. But in English, please, for tomorrow. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank okay, you Manuel, so much. for tomorrow is going to <laughs> work to the office. <laughs> Thank you so much. It happens, right? Pasa a veces, va. ya ve cómo vamos progresando, va. que ya estamos tan fluidos que hasta... Uf. Thank you so much. No, it happens. Suele correr. Thank you so much. But the sentence was correct. Thank you so much. Let's see. Miss Suleima. Can you share one sentence from your classmates' plans, please? Okay. Um, Andres is going to buy a new computer next year. Oh, interesting. That's very really nice. Very nice. Thank you. Magali, what can you tell us about your classmates' plans? Uh, Julio Cesar mm -hmm. uh, is going to a birthday party tomorrow. To have a birthday party? To, to have a birthday party. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. That's very nice. Thank you. What about you, Marvin? What can you tell us? Um, Francisco mm -hmm. is going to uh, visit the theater. 
the theater. Ah, thank you so much. What theater is he going to visit? I don't know. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> no, no, not too much information, teacher. Thank you. That's okay. <laughs> thank you. Andres, what about you? What can you tell us? Um, Francisco is going to travel to Japan the next year. Ah, interesting. He's going to, tra to travel to Japan next year. Thank you so much. Just check on some time expressions. Sometimes we don't include the article. En algunas expresiones de tiempo, omitimos el artículo da. In this case, it's going to travel next year, right? But the sentence was okay. Thank you so much. Juan Francisco, what can you tell us about your classmates? Uh, Leima is going to training to start tomorrow. Is going to train. Right, train right. some stuff. Mm -hmm. Remember, we Thank need you. the base form. Thank you so much. I appreciate your your participation, Miss Elsie. Um, Manuel is going to travel on May. On May. Oh, thank you so much. That's correct. Thank you, Edgar. What can you tell us about your classmates? Uh, Jose. Is going to uh, visit uh, San Francisco the Mount. San Francisco, Mount San Francisco, la montaña. San, uh, no, Mount, el, el, el mes. Ah, the, next the, month. Next month. Next month, excellent, next month. right? San Francisco, next month. Okay. I appreciate Thank you so next much. Month. Fabiola, what about you? What can you tell us? Magali. Next week. Next week, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Noemi, what did you discover about your classmates? Jose is going to play with his nephew mm -hmm. on weekend. On weekend. Thank you so much. Manuel Rodriguez, what can you tell us? Mr. Manuel, I guess your microphone is off. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, Marvin is going to play basketball. Marvin is going to play basketball. When? Tomorrow? Next week? Uh, next year? Sunday. Sunday. Tomorrow. Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's okay. Like whispering, right? Susurrando. That's okay. Thank you so much. Ah, I'm sorry. Thank you. Julio Cesar, what can you tell us about your partner's plan? Okay. I had um, Magali and they are going to travel mm -hmm. next year mm -hmm. to different countries, of course, I believe. Okay, interesting, different countries. Did she mention the countries? Yes, they did. Uh, one of them is going to, oh, well, uh, Fabiola is going to Spain. Okay. And um, Magali is going to, uh, that was Magali, right? It's going to Cancun. Wow, interesting. Mm -hmm. Hey, Magali, please take us. All of, all of us, as class, let's say, yeah, classmates, classmates, I'm going to take you to Cancun. Thank you so much, Magali. I appreciate that, that invitation. <laughs> Thank you so much. Miss Irene, what did you discover about your classmates? And for example, Elsie is going to the beach next Sunday. It's going to the beach. Excellent. Next Sunday, people, other invitation. You see, we have Cancun and we have on Sunday. So make time, please make the time and we have a trip. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much. Werner. Yes, teacher. Tell me, what did you discover about your classmates' plans? Francisco is going to work on Saturday, um, but but on Sunday, on Sunday, um, um, on Sunday, mm -hmm. he 
is relaxed, teacher. He's relaxed. He's going to yeah, relax. He's going to relax. Okay. Thank you um, so much. Uh, tell me more. Tell me one more. Is this an imagination or Ma the surprise? <laughs> yes, they relax. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. As you can see, uh, that is how we report future plans for the negative. In this case, we were talking about the affirmative, right? Sorry, for the affirmative way, talking about future plans, but also we check on the negative. So before we finish this session, is there any question about the use of going to? Um, no, no questions. No questions. Thank you, Julio Cesar. Okay, if there are no questions, I have questions for you. Can you please turn on the microphone and I will ask, and you can participate, all of you, if possible, no problem. What is the first element that we need in the sentence when we use going to? What is the first element? Subject. 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 After the subject? subject. B. 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 The verb to be. And B. what are the three forms of the verb to be? Is Thank you so much. After the verb to be, what is the next element? Going to. Going to. Going to. Going to. Going to. And after going to? The verb. The base form. form. Thank you. The base form. Remember, no ing. Ahí el verbo ve en su forma base, no le agregamos ing, no le agregamos ningún, ninguna otra parte, le agregamos ninguna otra partícula, nada más. Verbo en su forma base. And after the base form, what is the next possible element? Complement. 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 Yeah, you know, in the complement, we can have different versions depending on the context. Ahí dependiendo de lo que usted esté hablando, usted puede incluir un diferente contexto, puede ser a time expression, or it can be other type of complements that we have. All right, thank you so much. I was just checking, estamos doble, ahí chequeando a ver si habíamos comprendido la información. All right, um, before we finish, I am going to check on attendance for the final time. And we, after that one, we are uh, dismissed, right? Después de la asistencia, ya quedamos despedidos and you can, and you may go to sleep. Ya podrían ir a dormir or to watch TV or something, no problem. All right, Alejandra Maria, <laughs> or, go, or go home. Oh, come on, you are in home at, at this time. <laughs> bueno, si no está en su casa, you know, usted sabrá, no problem. No, so I am well. not going to question, I'm not going to ask well, you. Know. Tomorrow I'm going to take the class at work, so. Okay, oh, okay, okay, oh, I understand. <laughs> Thank you, let's see. Alejandra Maria Joven. Not at this moment. Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Edgar Alfredo Menjiva. Present teacher. Thank you. Elsie Janet. Present teacher. Thank you. Fabiola Georgina. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Javier. Present. Thank you. Irene Azucena. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Magali. Present. Thank you. Josué Alberto Salas. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco. Present. Thank you, Mr. Juan Francisco. Julio Cesar. Right here, teacher. Thank you. Carla Marta. Present. Thank you so much. And Carla Noemi. Not at this moment. Manuel Alejandro Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Manuel de Jesús Toya. Present. Thank you. Mariela de Los Ángeles. Not today. Marvin Wilfredo. Present teacher. Thank you. Werner Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Noemi Cordova. Present. Thank you so much. And Miss Suleima Ivon. Present. Thank you so much. So everybody's here. I appreciate that you are doing the effort to stay here for the session. And I hope you, every time we learn something, right? I appreciate the effort 
And I want, as I told you before in the WhatsApp group, I want to thank you for doing the homework. And I and for the people who are still missing, I want to motivate you to do the homework. Okay. Felicitarlos al, porque ya estuve chequeando su progreso y vi que algunos ya están haciendo sus tareas en la plataforma y eso es bueno, que eso consolida la información que estamos eh, aprendiendo durante la sesión de la clase y si hay dudas, pues en la siguiente sesión usted me puede preguntar y yo muy amablemente le doy la información necesaria para clarificar dudas. Los que todavía tenemos tareas pendientes, les animo a trabajar porque al final para que se nos acumule. Recuérdese que su mejor amigo es la práctica. Siempre, siempre, siempre en aprender un idioma, ese va a ser su mejor amigo. Así que les agradezco en continue doing your best. Siguen haciendo lo mejor como lo han venido haciendo. So, uh, good night and see you tomorrow. Have a good day tomorrow. Right? Pero pasen un feliz Thank día you. mañana. Good night. 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 Good night.